Well, welcome. It's a Saturday, and um, on our calendar today, actually, I get this from the Missouri Senate hymnal, is Ruth. Ruth is a book that's in the Bible. It is uh, one of the uh, a few women, actually, that are named. We have Ruth and Esther, but we have other women, strong women like Deborah and Miriam and others. But uh, Ruth and Esther are noted because they have a book named after them in our Protestant Bible. And Ruth is remembered because of her faithfulness to her mother-in-law. The love that she had for her was expressed in the love that she had discovered in serving the true God. Now, she had been a Moabite woman, and when her husband had died, she could have gone back to her own people. But that would have been desperate in, in her circumstances. But there was actually no place for her with her mother-in-law except to help her out. And that is what the story of Ruth is about, is finding a second life after your first life has died. Finding a second life with the um, aspect of faith, to trust that God has a plan for you in each and every stage of life. And she did. She found Boaz, who ended up being a relative of her husband's family. She was able to reestablish herself in the lineage. In fact, that's what we have in the genealogies of Jesus. We have Ruth listed in the lineage because she was the great-grandmother of King David. So she became part of the royal line of Israel. Now, while those, those things are interesting, once again, I return to the main point of what I'm talking to you about today. And that is... Ruth gives us hope that when all of our other avenues have reached their limit, when we think that we've come to the end of our highway, so to speak, when we've come to the end of what we think is what our life purpose is about, God still gives us something new for each and every season, each and every stage. Just as we read about in King Solomon, with there is a time and place where everything under heaven with that famous song that uh, got famous in the 60s, Turn, Turn, Turn. It is a reminder that God has a new plan even after our old plans have fallen away, whether by choice or whether by circumstances. Ruth is a reminder that God has a plan for you even when your old life has changed. Let us pray. Gracious God, Heavenly Father, on this day, we remember that your old life had changed on the cross. It put in the grave and it was waiting for Resurrection Sunday. And so we too, just in a normal week in the middle of July, wait for our resurrection again tomorrow. But Lord, we ask and trust that you will have a plan for us, as you did for our sister in faith, Ruth. May we read it today and gain inspiration. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In fact, I do invite you to read the book of Ruth. It is a very easy read. It doesn't take very long. In fact, you could probably read it in about 20 minutes if you're interested. It is one of those books that is very memorable if you think about it. God bless you. We'll talk to you tomorrow.